Hey guys, James here today and welcome to another Sims 3 house building video uh, and there's my face in the top right because uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> so I originally live streamed uh, the first three hours of this build um, with my face cam and I, I forgot to save the actual original uh, video recording without my face on it. Like I did have it but I forgot to save it with it. So anyways. Moral of the story is that uh, for the first 20 minutes, my face will be in the top right in a little circle. Uh, gotta love circles though, they look good. So you'll see me talking at uh, roughly eight times speed, having a little bit of a sip of a drink. All that kind of great stuff that you get out of a face cam when watching a, a sped up house build. Uh, yeah, so this took me, I think, just under four hours, which is an extraordinarily large amount of time uh, when compared to my latest Sims 4 house build. Uh, the one I built in Sims 4, that uh, seven bedroom home, uh, Tarquin Estate, that took me about three hours to build. This took me about four. Uh, and I'm going to put most of that time down to it being in a live stream. Because uh, whenever you're doing a live stream, you're always looking at the chat, you're always asking for feedback, getting ideas, and you'll definitely notice me doing that throughout this build. Like, you'll notice me, like, have a look at the chat or, you know, change some things quite often uh, due to sort of feedback. And th that definitely does add to the amount of time, but it also creates a better sort of product in the end. As for example, right here, where I added in a couple of dormers because that part of the roof looked really bad. And then we decided in the chat that the dormers looked terrible as well. So we changed the whole thing instead. Uh, so I was just playing around with the roof, trying to make it look decent enough there. Uh, so yeah, in the end, it is what it is. Uh, I I decided at this point when I'm putting that fence in there at the front that I wanted a house on a balcony. Oh, no, a balcony. Pfft, what am I saying? House on a foundation. But of course, uh, it was too late to add that in The Sims 3. Um, and Because I, I didn't want to start over again because that was already quite a bit of an amount of time. So I kind of just put a little fence out the front. Uh, and what I'm doing now is trying to figure out the layout of the house because I need to, I want to have at least three bedrooms in this house. Uh, it does end up having three bedrooms and two bathrooms, by the way. But yeah, anyway, so I wanted, because we have the garage there, which sort of blocks a large portion of the back of the house, I wanted to put in the bedrooms in a way that they would all have at least one window because... I mean, while I could have interior bedrooms with no windows, that's not as pleasant as having sort of bedrooms with windows. So I was trying to figure that out, figure out the best way to do it. Right here, I've got the three bedrooms and I've sort of got a bathroom uh, wedged in that area. But the problem that we all decided, uh, we being the people in the live stream chat and myself, was that that created a hallway, like a, a one by three or four square hallway that would just create a lot of sort of problems with sims trying to get through so i sort of pushed the bathroom out there a little bit and that design was much sort of much more appreciated um and it does change a little bit because there is still a one by one section of hallway which is not particularly great uh and that does change fairly fairly soon i believe uh but the the main sort of layout and everything is pretty much there and I'm having a chat. Oh, by the way, if, yeah, by the way, if you want to watch this entire live stream, I did post it recently. You may or may not have had time to watch it. It was like three one-hour parts called uh, Building Banana Cabana number one, two, and three, which you can see here on my channel. But this is obviously the sped up version uh, for those of you that don't have a million years to watch a video. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, so the, I posted all those if you wanted to check them out. I was going to live stream more of this, but... Um, I decided not to for some reason. I decided I just want to sit down and listen to some music and do it that way instead. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, so just picking some colors now. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. I was trying to, I was trying to remember what I was going to say. And I was going to say Banana Cabana was a suggestion in the chat from, uh, I think, I think their username in the Twitch chat was Heisenberger. And I was like, oh my God, this person has like the, the greatest name ideas. Like their username is Heisenberger and they call this Banana Cabana. It's beautiful. Good naming. Good naming. Um, and I thought it was quite funny. So yeah. Uh, so that's kind of like the sub name. This is actually 2 Seawood Walk uh, named like for its location in a lone island. That's just what it's called. But you know, our little nickname for it is going to be Banana Cabana. Uh, and of course, you can download this on my website already and on the Sims 3 Exchange uh, if you so wish to download it that way. Yeah, so it's all available, all ready to download as you wish. Uh, just putting in, obviously, the windows and all that. I wanted a little window there on the top of the roof section, but there wasn't really anything that great. I can't even rem remember if I ended up leaving. Did I leave that window there? I honestly don't remember. I honestly don't. 
I don't know. <laughs> we'll see in the screenshots. I mean, I was building this just a moment ago. Like, I just finished it a few minutes ago, but I don't remember. Oh, well. Uh, <laughs> so, putting in some windows. Yeah, so the problem that that garage presented, because I, I, I wanted a garage just because it was next to the road. Um, but the problem with it is it's at the back of the house. So, I couldn't have, like, a large sort of living space of a living room with nice big windows into the back garden because th there's a garage there. <laughs> So that was kind of, uh, I guess, it, it wasn't the best placement for a garage. And I guess it should have been at the front of the house, probably. Would have made more, would have been a little bit easier to work with. But in the end, everything turned out just fine. No worries at all. Uh, so just adding some wooden decking on that, like, what did I call it? Uh, like, like fake porch or something, fake balcony. I don't know, that's not a balcony. Why do I keep calling it a balcony? Fake deck, I guess. A uh, little fake area out the front because it's not actually on a foundation, but it still has a little fence and uh, some columns. But yeah. Uh, anyway, so we're going inside of the house now, just getting uh, sort of uh, floor, like the flooring and wallpaper, so we can sort of decide what we wanted. I decided to test that uh, wood on the floor. It looked terrible. Did not use it in the end. Uh, went for those sort of light, uh, all those wide wooden floorboards there. Made them nice and light because this, again, it's supposed to be a tropical beachy based kind of island so you don't want something really dark and and dingy ideally i mean you could have it i think i mean i guess there's no reason to but you know the, the style of this house isn't supposed to be dark and dingy so that's not what we're going to be doing um yeah so we got those floorboards throughout the main living spaces oh yeah so i've shuffled over the bathroom i didn't even see when that happened i shuffled over the bathroom a bit so it's sort of now it divides the kitchen area and the living area which i think is a really good sort of uh layout there that was again suggested and helped out by those on twitch uh that came to watch the stream uh and then i also so there's that little interior room uh, sort of a large hallway area, which you may or may not have seen already, uh, that has all the doors to the bedrooms and the garage, basically. So that's an interior room with no windows. Uh, it's kind of like a glorified hallway, basically. It turns into like a study area, so with a desk and a computer, uh, sort of bookcase and some seating. So it's, yeah, it's kind of a nice little sort of central study area, I guess. And then it has the doors to the bedroom and garage coming off of it. So that room there that I just did the wallpaper on. Um, yeah, so that's the uh, the back door there from the kitchen area into the backyard. The backyard ends up just being quite simple. Uh, the chat, the live stream chat was big on pastel colors. So we went with like a salmon, a lilac-y color, and then a sort of light pastel green uh, for the bedrooms, which I thought, I thought looked quite nice as well. Uh, now, this is where I spend like a year and a half doing a bathroom. Uh, I Again, I think it was just because I was on the live stream chat. And so many, the thing is, when you have these people watching and chatting away, like everybody has their own idea of what, you know, what they want to see or what they would do. So when you have a billion different ideas flying at you, you can never, you can never sort of get one cohesive. Yeah, let's do this. So it takes a lot longer to try to figure out what I want to do. But I guess that sort of just comes with a bit of practice, a little bit more live streaming, and then I should, should be used to it. Um, but yeah. Sitting having a chat with the live stream. By the way, oh, sorry, just hit a glass there. Um, by the way, um, yeah, so I, I'm planning on. I, I, I depend. I, by the way, okay, so a couple of things here. Uh, first of all, if you didn't already know, I have forums on my website. Second of all, um, people suggest ideas and, and all that kind of stuff over there, which is really cool. So I suggest you go check it out if you haven't already. Um, and what I'm doing right here, I'm, so many things I need to say. I uh, People wanted the wave. In, in the house, and I was like, we could do a curved wave, hashtag the curved wave is real, but then the curved wave turned out to be false because, or fake, because you can't do different wall patterns on a curved pool piece, as you may have seen very briefly, uh, it just doesn't let you, um, and the pool just looked kind of stupid, to be perfectly honest, so we removed that. Anyways, what I was saying about the forums and idea suggestion, one of the ideas that was suggested on the forums was to do a perfect sim challenge, basically a challenge where you have to be level 10 in your career, have like 30 friends, uh, have a million dollars, and have a house worth a million dollars, there's a few other things as well, but I was thinking that could be a really good sort of series to do as a live stream, and I'm trying to figure out I think I want to try and schedule the live streams um, and like have two different set times. So like um, two different times a week, you know, so like one time that would be good for Europe and then maybe one time that would be good for 
uh, the US, uh, sort of the US time zone. And those of you in Australia or New Zealand, it, those, would, those would, I think, both be fine for us because I, I was looking at the times sort of around 8 a.m., 9 a.m. for me, I think is good for the US. And then I think that's... That would be, I guess that would be late evening UK as well. So sort of UK, uh, Europe time. So I guess they could watch it as well. But then I guess the other time would be late night for us. For, well, for me, this is getting confusing. Time zones are confusing, man. Um, and that would be, I think, like, I guess 9 p.m. for me would be like 10 a.m. for the UK sort of time. So I guess that could be good a good sort of streaming times. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. It's really hard being... I guess just in Australia, when the majority of my audience is in the US and the UK, um, Australia is number three on that list, by the way, fun fact. And then I think Canada is number four on that list. Possibly, I don't, I can't remember. Um, but anyways, long story short, I'm trying to figure out the sort of best times to live stream and I want to try and get sort of a set kind of schedule so you guys know when it is and you have an opportunity to do it. And it wouldn't just be on weekdays. I'd also, <laughs> I'm spinning on the chair there because creator style was frozen. Um, yeah, so it wouldn't just be on uh, weekdays. I will definitely try and get some weekends in there as well because obviously the more sort of times and days that I can try and vary it up by, I can definitely get, I mean, definitely give all of you an opportunity to see it live because I know a lot of the time people are like, oh, you always stream at a time that I can't see it or I always miss it because I'm doing this, etc. So I'm just in the process, basically, of planning out and trying to figure out the best sort of schedule for me because obviously, number one, I have to be able to do it <laughs> because if it's at a ridiculous time for me that I can't do, that's completely useless. Uh, yeah, so I'm trying to, I'm, I'm just working on that lately. So definitely expect more news on live streams in the near future. I will definitely post a separate sort of update video on, on live streams um, when I sort of figure it all out and what I want to do. And we're still working on the bathroom. I think this is the room that takes the longest in the house. This two by three tiled room takes the longest in the entire house. Um, but the wave is real though, so don't worry about that. Uh, yeah, so a lot of stuff happening on the live stream front. Probably going to be doing the Perfect Sim Challenge via live stream. And of course, I didn't mention this before, but these will all be up on YouTube as well. Uh, as all my live streams end up on YouTube, uh, after the fact. At some point after the live stream, they will end up on YouTube. Much like this was a live stream, and it ended up on YouTube. And I forgot to take my face out, <laughs> because, you know professionalism at its finest uh just expanding the ensuite bathroom there uh for the the master bedroom mm, that was that was weird the master bedroom <laughs> had something in my throat there so it made me say it weirdly uh yeah so just expanding that ensuite bathroom so it's a little bit bigger because a two by two i couldn't really fit, i could only fit a toilet and a sink in which is kind of lame i wanted to at least fit like a shower in there as well and that's what i did uh, yeah, so the, there's two bathrooms in this house, which is really, really good, actually, because two bedrooms, two bathrooms. Uh, I, I guess it's a house well suited for four sims uh, to comfortably live. I've decorated some of the bedrooms as, well, I decorated one of them as like a child's bedroom and then the other one as a nursery. So it's kind of like a young family's uh, home, uh, or at least that's the idea. Of course, you could just buy it unfurnished and do whatever you wanted with it. But this is just how I did it myself. Mm, excuse me. Uh, yeah, so that's the bathroom. This is the other bathroom that takes a long time as well. This one doesn't take as long as the other one, because I think I'm copying and pasting a lot of stuff from the other room. Um, <clears throat> that one's got a nice lilac wall in there, because if you were at the stream, like, people are obsessed with saying lilac. I don't know. <laughs> live stream chats are interesting. If you ever get a chance to go to one of my live streams, or I guess any live stream for that matter, I think it's probably the same for all of them, but I guess I haven't really noticed it. But on my live streams, people just sort of fixate on, they get on a topic and they just go on about it and on about it and on about it. Like the entirety of this live stream. It was like, it was pretty much like once someone said a color, people went crazy for it. So like lilac. And, and, and I'm not talking about them just liking the color. Like they were saying lilac toilet, lilac shower, lilac sink. Everything must be lilac. And then uh, by the end of the stream, it progressed into bean colored. Like I, I don't even know. Like that's not a specific color. Beans are many different colors, people. Yeah, the chat's crazy. A lot of fun, though. A lot of fun. I <laughs> uh, love live streaming. It's great stuff. Uh, yeah, so just going through putting lights in the house now, of course. I think 
No, I lied. I don't know why I even said that. I was going to say, I think we're getting near the end of the live stream. And I can, I can see when the live stream ends on my video editing timeline. And it's not now at all. And also, we still got to do the kitchen. Uh, I do the kitchen in the live stream as well, if you haven't already seen it. Doing a family car. You know, get everybody out on the road. I think, oh, that's what, that was at the point when people were saying cranberry car, I think. They wanted a cranberry colored car. Oh, geez. Live stream chats are, are just fantastic. Um, anyways, working on the kitchen. Took me a while to sort of settle on a theme. It was originally going to be, like, I guess this contemporary sort of look. But then I wanted, I went a different direction. Sort of more, I guess, traditional sort of kitchen styled. Rather than sort of contemporary, modern. Um, which I guess the contemporary style would definitely would have worked as well. But I couldn't, I don't know, I couldn't get the colors I wanted. Like, I, I, I just didn't. It didn't feel right to me. So, as you can see, I'm messing around. Jeez. <laughs> Took me a long time to do this. Um, at least we can fast forward it in the, with the magic of video editing. Unless you watched the three hours, in which case I apologize for your torture. Uh, it's originally going to be blue cabinets, which is interesting. Don't know why I thought that was a good idea. <sighs> 16 minutes in. We're running out of things to talk. Maybe this is the last video I ever do. I think I've just exhausted all the words in the English language. I haven't because I definitely don't use that many words. I use the same words over and over, like beautiful and and uh, though. I use though a lot. But yeah, I think I think I'm done talking. Uh, anyways, guys, I will. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. I'm just gonna leave now. I'll I'll let the next. Well, however many minutes left, 10 minutes go by itself. But uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm still here. Um, yeah, that, I don't know what that was. Uh, so yeah, there's the kitchen. Finally got the sort of a dark sort of stone worktops, uh, dark wood sort of cabinets and some weird peachy color tiles, which I was going to change, but then I left them there because I don't know. I thought they looked okay uh, in the end anyways when there was more stuff put in it. So I put up some cabinets there. Um, yeah, so it's kind of like a more traditional style kitchen as I was saying before. And I'm just trying to find little knickknacks and paddy wax to place in the kitchen. Something to make it a little bit more detailed. Getting those liquor bottles, which uh, I guess in my eyes, I use those bottles for a lot of things. I use those bottles in the shower for like shampoo or conditioner. I use them in the kitchen sometimes like I am now to signify, I guess, like soaps and, and just general kitchen cleaning products. That's what it represents to me anyways. Um, or alcohol, either way, <laughs> whichever you prefer. Accidentally made the fridge wooden there. Didn't mean to do that. This is another famous moment where creative style is lagging and I'm trying to get it onto the shelf. There it goes, finally. And I'm saving because up to that point I hadn't saved yet. Um, so I was, I was worried that we'd have a bit of a problem. But we fixed it in the end. Well, we, we never fixed it. Just saved the game. Uh, yeah, so a little bit of a dishwasher. Something that doesn't exist in Sims 4. I wonder if they'll put those in. They've got to put, like, I, I get that a dishwasher in The Sims is useless when you have a sink, right? Like a sink and a dishwasher, they do exactly the same thing. Uh, and I guess the same applies for a trash compactor and a bin. But why, like, I, I get they're completely useless objects in that regard, but we want them, you know? Like, the dishwasher is something that people have in their house in real life and dishwasher is something that should be in a life simulator i'm just saying i'm talking about sims 4 by the way if you don't know sims 4 doesn't have dishwashers which is really weird it doesn't have trash compactors either oh wait does it no i don't think it does but then again i don't really care about the trash compactor because who has a trash compactor in real life like i mean obviously people do because it's an it's an item but it's definitely not nearly as common as a dishwasher everybody has a dishwasher well, that's not true either. But, you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> a dishwasher is a lot more common than it ha people having a trash compactor. And just by that fact, it should be something that's in The Sims 4. Um, yeah. I don't know why I went so long about that. Yeah, so here's where I was trying to figure out a layout for the kitchen. Because the room... Like, I wanted a, a full-size dining table with four chairs for the four Sims that are going to live in the house. But it was really hard to fit it in the kitchen without, like and having an island counter because I wanted the island counter as well because it just looked really nice. So that's what I ended up doing. And I believe, yeah, I believe I've just extended the house by one square or extended that room by one square out the back uh, to accommodate that in the building. And I'm just rambling on and on to the stream chat right now, apparently, which is nothing wrong with that. Just as I'm rambling on and on to you right now. 
into the microphone. Mm. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, yeah, so just going through adding little uh, decorations and details to the rest of the room now. Doing a little floor mat for when you come in the back door because your feet will be dirty. You've got to wipe your feet, son. <laughs> I don't know why I said son there. But you've got to wipe your feet, son. Uh, otherwise, you get a whooping from Ma. Uh, anyways, <laughs> adding in some little, little end, end tables underneath the windows. Just to yeah, add a little bit of detail. A little bit of sort of, I guess, clutter items in a sense. To make the room seem a little bit more full than it otherwise would be. Because uh, otherwise, it's just nothing to put there. Uh, mirror, little chair, little pot of flowers. Very nice. Oh, that's nice. Little painting. Oh, here we go. Now we're not in the live stream anymore because my face has disappeared. How about that then? Uh, yeah, so this is where I think this is sort of where I guess this, the pace of furnishing picks up. I don't actually know if I took an extraordinarily long amount of time or it just felt like it because I was talking along with it. Uh, when I was live streaming, but I don't know. Anyways, doing a little thing in that little corridor area just because it just felt blank and I felt like I needed to do something there. Similarly, I needed to put something on that wall because it felt blank. Uh, I was going to do a large tapestry. It looked terrible no matter what pattern I put put on it. So I was like, nope, not using that at all. Uh, so I just found a picture that would look nice. Uh, I thought that canvas there looked actually really, really cool. So I ended up putting that in there. Nice, a large TV for the family to enjoy. To sit down and watch, you know, an episode of Seinfeld, or Simfeld, actually, I should say. Um, <laughs> watch an episode of, you know, uh, and... Uh, TiVo, is that, is that still really a thing? Like, I don't know. I mean, okay, so TiVo was never really a thing in Australia, because by the time TiVo did come here, like, it eventually did. By the time TiVo came here, like, Foxtel, which is our sort of our only cable provider in Australia, basically. They have a monopoly on it. Uh, anyways, they, their sort of cable boxes had pausing, recording, rewinding, fast-forwarding, etc. They already had that. So when TiVo came, everyone says, like, oh, well, what's the point of TiVo? Like, like sort of regular DVR re TV recorders already existed, and so did the Foxtel one. So TiVo was just something that never really took off in Australia. And my point of sort of going along with that, that whole sort of tangent there was, I was going to say, is TiVo still really a thing? Because I was going to say they rec they rec could record Simfeld on their Sivo. Sim Simvo? I don't know. Just just add a Sim to the name of, of everything to make it sound more game-like. I don't know. Oh, yeah. So here's the inner, inner room. I was talking about the inner sanctum, as I've just dubbed it this very second. Oh, my God. So much rotation. Apologies. Apologies all around. At least it's in 60 FPS. So it's a little easier to see. Um, yeah. So I just added a couple of chairs in there, uh, computer space, and a bookcase. Uh, so you can grab a book, sit down, have a little read. Uh, it'd be a nice, cozy little place. You know, it'd be quiet because it's inside. There's no windows. Cozy. Have a little nap in there in the chair. All well and good. Put a little bit of keyboard there next to those windows in front, uh, at the front of the room there. A little mirror. And I think I put a uh, sort of little side cabinet next to the door as well. Uh, picking some... I, I wanted to put something on that wall just because it seems so blank. Uh, quick uh, quick accidental exit to edit world there. Um, I'll go back. To, I think I'll go back to the wall in just a second as well. Uh, another little end table there. And a little doormat. Oh, isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Yeah, so on that wall there, I just wanted to do something. So I just made it sort of like a feature wall by changing the color and adding a couple of pictures on uh, sort of in the middle of it there. Uh, here we are moving on to the bedrooms now. Uh, that is the master bedroom, of course. I put that single mirror behind the bed because the garage door actually clips through that wall. And putting the mirror in front of it just hides it. So that's what I did in the end there. Just to sort of obfuscate. Obf <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Obfuscate? 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 Okay. That's a word I've never been able to say. Obfuscate? <laughs> obfuscate? Obfuscate? Oh, God. Oh, that's such a hard word to say. Oh, that's just embarrassing that I've tried to say it. Maybe I'll edit that out. I don't know. No, I'll leave it in. It's a bit of fun. A bit of fun for those of you that watch the entire video or listen to it. Um, yeah, so the word I was trying to say is just a fancy way of saying hide, basically. <laughs> and I can't say the word, apparently. Um, which, well, how do you say it? Um, hang on. Let me just play it back on Google. Obfuscate. Oh, well, you say it weirdly. That's not how people say it. Obfuscate. What? Nah. 
can't play it again. Hang on. Let me play it. Not let me play it again. Ah, oh. that's not how people used to say it at school when everyone was trying to sound smart. Hang on, let me type in Google Translate. That's stupid. Obfuscate. Yeah, there you go. Obfuscate. Obfuscate. <laughs> that's that's the Australian Google Translate voice. Hang on. Obfuscate. Obfuscate is how she says it. Jesus. Okay. Ob obfuscate. Still a stupid word. It's just an unnecessary word that doesn't need to be used. Uh, anyways, while that was all happening, I completely missed what I was doing. Did the couple of bedrooms, doing the landscaping now, and we're about to jump into the screenshot any second now. Um, okay, so, yeah. I, I managed to embarrass myself sufficiently in this in this video, which is good. Uh, yeah, so a couple of pictures of the front. These are going really fast. Well, you can see all these screenshots on my website as well. If you just click the link in the description down below, you'll see them all there in their full resolution and full glory. Uh, yeah, so there is the hallway to the kitchen. There's the kitchen area, kitchen dining area, I guess. Another little angle. You can see the living room to the back. There's the other angle of the kitchen and the dining table. Oh my God, it's going so quickly. I can't really commentate this. Why is it so fast? Should have made them faster. Sorry about that. The wave is real. Uh, kids' bedroom and toys and the other angle of the kids' bedroom. And we're going into the uh, other kids' bedroom. Well, baby's bedroom. Nursery few little toys in there for when the kid ages up. The master bedroom and the ensuite bathroom. And we're going to see the uh, floor plan in just a second. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.